All right, guys, I've gotten quite a workout already. <laughs> Been doing the laundry, taking the trash out, and I'm sweating. I am sweating. Of course, I'm out of shape, too. That probably doesn't help matters much. Um, you're, you're kind of seeing the man cave here. Here's some of the uh, some some of the planes that I have. Uh, there's one right above me here. Um, that one that one's actually going to get fixed up here pretty soon. Um, as soon as we get the parts order for it. And there's a little fellow over there, too. Um, he's kind of my right-headed stepchild. Um, but anyways, I'm going to do something that I had been mentioning for a little while. And that is dive into some of the music things. Now, I'm just going to do some bass stuff today. Show you some, some of my basses, my gear. And probably do a little bit of bass stuff for you. Uh, eventually, I'll probably incorporate... Um, you know, some guitar, some singing, stuff like that. But for right now, we'll just do a little bass introduction. So, let's get started. Alright, this one here is kind of my pride and joy. This is my, and the one you probably see me play at church in the church videos, this is my Music Man Stingray 5. This is a 5 string bass, the only 5 string bass I own. Isn't she purdy? Actually, she's probably dirty, I need to clean it. Um... I don't remember how long I've had this. I think it's been about, I think maybe 10 years or so I've had this thing. I actually did a custom order through Guitar Center um, and told them exactly what kind of, you know, things I wanted on the bass. I didn't pick just one off the uh, off the shelf. So I picked the color. This is a, they call it translucent teal. Um, I went for the dual humbucker design, dual pickup design, as you see here. I wanted something beefy. You know, a good beefy, bassy sound. That's what I wanted. So I got that. I, I love maple necks. That's kind of my preference. So I got a maple neck and a matching headstock to go with it. So, like I said, it's kind of my pride and joy. And now let me show you my other bass. Alright, first I showed you the new school thing with my Music Man Stingray, which you just saw. Now we're going to go old school. Ta-da! This is a, I believe a 79 is the year, Fender P bass, Fender Precision bass, four string. And it is in what is called the Antigua finish, um, which from my understanding was a very rare finish, only offered I think a couple years or so. And as you can see, it's been through been through quite a lot. Uh, some of this stuff was actually on here when I bought it. it it's a, of course, you know, you can expect some coloration issues, ding scratches, and everything else for a bass that is this old. So, you know. But I'm very happy with it. I love old Fender basses. Um, I think I kind of prefer jazz basses originally, but the more I played this, the more I fell in love with it. I kind of like Precisions, too. So... Um, and it came with the, uh, the, the bridge cover here. You know, this is kind of the old school thing. Um, I think the pickup cover I've got somewhere. But, you know, I love this thing just as, you know, just as much as my Stingray, too. So, it's a great little bass. And not to feel left out here, this is a bass that my father-in-law had found. A Memphis, um, P bass. I know very little about it, but I think he paid five bucks for it or something. It was real cheap. Needs needs a few parts, but shouldn't be uh, too bad at all. So, hope to get that one, you know, that one getting fixed up as well. And this is kind of my base rig here. This is an Avatar. Yes, that's the brand Avatar. Uh, 4x10 cabinet. Uh, base players usually are very big fans of the cabinets, speaker cabinets that have tens in them. Um, so I've had this thing for quite some time. Um, but I'll, I'll be honest with you, I'm actually looking to downgrade a little bit. I want to actually see if I can, tr you know, trade this up and get me like a single 1x12 speaker cabinet. So, yeah, I'm... I'm just because I'm honestly I'm getting older and this thing's this thing's pretty heavy to carry around sometimes, 
So, looking to kind of downsize that a little bit. Okay, moving up here. That is a Yamaha Power Amp. And this is just a guitar pedal here. And this is my main sound. This is a Sans Amp. Um, made by Tech 21. Um, this is their RBI unit. It is a rack mount preamp. And this is basically my tone. This is where I get my sound from. This is what gives me the the meat, the bassy goodness sound that I like. Um, if you're not, if you're if you're a bass person or guitar person, you may have heard of Sans Amp by Tech Twenty One. They make tube tube emulation products. So, um, you know, some of, in the old days, a lot of the amplifiers and stuff used tubes to get their sound. Um, nowadays, you can still do that, but it, um, you know, you, you have the cost of, or it's, it's at the cost of like the weight and stuff like that. And they have developed electronics that sort of emulate or sound like a tube sound. And that's one of the things that they are known for is creating something that sounds very tube like. So once I plugged into this thing, I fell in love with it. Just, I mean, the sound is amazing. So, well, I'm going to go ahead. And we're going to hook it up, and let's do some playing, guys. Let's do some jamming. All right, here we go. Got my trusty Music Man all hooked up and ready to go. Got my old Ghostbusters right here, close to my heart. <laughs> Amps all powered up, ready to go. Um, uh, unfortunately, I'm, I'm going strictly by the, uh, the camera's microphone. So, um, I did a couple tests, and it sounded just fine. So, um... I hope maybe, maybe at some point we'll get fancy and get a mixer hooked up to this and, you know, all that kind of stuff. But for right now, who cares, right? Just a little bit of fun. Okay. Um, so, been a bass player about 20 years or so. Um, I kind of lost track. But, you know, throughout that time, I, I think if, for, for any bass player, and I've probably said this in, a, in other videos as well, it's going to be versatile, you know, to kind of learn different styles of music and you know just just really open your mind to different things so you know i could go right from playing country to playing metal rock whatever you know so it's kind of kind of cool to be open about that kind of stuff um you know for instance country stuff is usually a lot like this of course now it depends on if it's new school country or old school country but you get that yeah and of course, even like a lot of your bluegrass is that way too. Yeah, bluegrass is kind of the same as well. Um, as far as like your rock kind of stuff, like the early old rock and roll, I'm talking like, you know, Chuck Berry, um, Elvis, you know, that kind of stuff. You know, that's more of what we call walking bass. So, and it's usually more of a, more of a fast pattern, so it's kind of like a... You know, it's kind of like that. <laughs> and then, of course, you've got like, um, kind of on a similar note, you have your blues, which is, um, uses walking bass as well, but sometimes it's a much slower, more relaxed pace. So, And really a lot of country even has, and it's kind of throwing walking bass in. It's, it really it all evolves in its own weird way. <clears throat> um, 
So, um, let me dig a pick out here for a second. As a bass player, I think it's important. There's there's a big debate over if you should use a pick or use your fingers. I say go with whatever the song requires. Who cares? You know, that's a big, big debate. There are some songs that just don't have the cool sound of a pick on a bass. You know, there's some songs that, you know, finger style is the way to go. So, but yeah, you can do... Um, I mean, pig's, pig's pretty cool. You know, it works well for punk, too, you know. Um, you know. You know, so it works either way. <laughs> so, you know, you can do a lot of, you know, a lot of cool things with bass and like some different... Look at my hand is reaching across there. <laughs> Actually, I'll stick my pick up here. That way kind of keep it out of the way but again you know <clears throat> I believe in using your fingers and I have no problem with using the pick either so um, and you know you can do like some slow ballad stuff you know this is like you know, usually it's just a uh, simple thing like this stuff like that so I lost my strap came off there <clears throat> so you know bass is one of those things I think it's just going to be versatile you know like I'm saying yeah, it's good to kind of just explore different styles and I'm sure it's going to get asked I'm sure people might be wondering I'm not going to leave it out <clears throat> but there's one, one other cool technique that bass players do it's kind of more used in modern music, even though I think it kind of came out in the 70s, and it's sort of more or less adopted since then, um, and goes into different styles and things. Um, it's used either as a grooving, a kind of a groove technique, or it's also used as a solo technique. Some guys, when it comes to a bass solo, they'll, you know, more likely you'll hear a bass player, you know, doing this. I'm referring to slap style. Now, I've, I'll tell you right now, um... I'm, I, I do not claim to be the world's best slap bassist, but I can do a little bit of it. And it is cool to listen to. Um, I don't do it all the time, but every once in a while it's just kind of fun to break out and, and, and go crazy. <clears throat> and um, it, it's it's more of a percussive technique, you know. Um, kind of bouncing between the strings and stuff. And you know, this hand is kind of what does all the work. And this hand over here just kind of hits a few notes every now and then and tr tries to make it sound right, you know. So, <clears throat> so, but I, I'm sure if you guys you know, listen to bass players, you may think it's the coolest thing on the planet to actually hear a bass player do some slap stuff. And, you know, my take on it is it, it's fun. It's good, you know, groove, it, it's good, you know, when you're in the groove doing it and stuff. Some guys get a little flashy with it, um... Maybe maybe a little too much sometimes, but whatever you know, whatever floats their goat, as we tend to say around here. So, anyways, I will hush and try to demonstrate this chubby guy doing some slap style. And. Uh, like I said, I don't do it a whole lot, but it's just kind of fun to mess around for a little bit. Actually, I did have a really cool groove of 
slap style groove one time that I came up with. Yeah. That's all it was, but it was it just sounded kinda cool, you know. So um but you know, actually it's just cool to hear a bass player do that every now and then. And uh, you can kinda go kinda crazy, so like um like I was doing some real fast stuff there, like um something like that <laughs> and then this up here is a cool technique too yeah something like that <laughs> it's kind of fun to throw in every now and then on a song um, or doing like a yeah something like that not to be confused it it may sound a little bit like something else but it's not you might be thinking of um, that one, not, you know, it's a different sound, you know, so, <laughs> but anyways, um, <clears throat> like I said, I'll probably dive into some more bass stuff here eventually, get to show you guys some more things, um, also do some guitar work as well, uh, sing a little bit, my, so my voice is starting to get there, so we might do some singing here a little bit, a little bit, a little bit later too, so, but anyways, that is all for me. For now, I do want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoy a little bit of my bass playing. Um, like I said, I'll have some more music stuff coming for you eventually. And I think I might start working on composing a little bit of music for some of my videos. Just an idea. Um, <clears throat> I have been, th I have thought seriously about doing that for like the for like the RC channel. You know, create some you know background music for it or some, uh, <coughs> and maybe even here on my main channel too. So, but like I said, anyways, never me, enough for the whole that whole stuff. So I'm gonna hush. And I want to thank you guys for watching. Remember, if you put your mind to it, you can accomplish anything. And we'll see you in the next video.